about 1968, uh, this discussions about trying to acquire a branch line from uh, Carbonado Jun or from the Cascade Junction to Carbonado and uh, Also, I have some letters in the file I just came across recently about the uh, formation of Cascade Recreation Inc. And uh, from 1968, 69, 70, and the acquisition of two coaches, NP 627 and 634, out of South Dakota. Uh, but then were some additional parts we, were, we got out of the, out of the general metal scrap yard in Tacoma in order to have a sustaining supply. So it was an interesting time in that formative years of 1968 to 72. And then I had an opportunity along with Bill Fleischer and others from Portland to commute up here from Portland every weekend to be part of the train crew for the first summer or two, 73 and, 72 and 73. I do recall when we got the Santa trains going, this was his idea and we kind of pulled it off and uh, chartered the train and built several sections of it and did this for uh, many weekends and for several years. So that got a lot of people interested. Had as many as almost a thousand people out here. My name is Ed Burnson from Tacoma. I'm Ivan Christensen. Ed and I were working for the Great uh, Burlington Northern at the time. This one right here? Yes, yes, I left yes. my jacket at home. Yes, yes, and you're from Wenatchee at the moment. Here in um, in 74, probably in the fall, I had gotten out of the Air Force in 74, and uh, my folks knew I was interested in this kind of stuff and had ridden here, and of course told me about it when I got home. So I came for a ride that summer, found out that you folks used um, volunteer help, so I came by sometime in the fall when I wasn't working and started helping out on some maintenance stuff. Uh, came and took pictures for the Christmas trains that year, late 74, and then sometime in 75 I started coming and, oh, probably helped with some of the maintenance and so forth, and then uh, working on the train crew that summer, and pretty much filled all the operating positions. Within um, probably three years or so I started um, working the engine, firing and running and so forth, and, and uh, did it for many years. And uh, even when I was working for the BNSF, uh, I would still take time off occasionally and come and, and work up here. So it, at that time, it uh, became a vocation working for the BNSF. I hired out there in 1990. And um, so I was still coming up here long after that um, until I no longer could. So I had a lot of good times. I was in grade school when I started helping in the coffee car and I could just, I remember I could barely get the coffee up over the counter to the customers and the donuts. And I worked a lot with Mrs. Culp. She taught me a whole lot about making change and selling things and keeping track of how many of everything we had and made sure our till balanced at the end of the day and and uh, I think she, I think it was my first paying job was um, when I was able to handle it after I was into junior high or maybe into high school but well, it must have been probably junior high but she when I was old enough to get everything right and make sure all the tills balanced out, then she would leave me in charge or leave me you know, in charge of whoever was helping. And I actually earned 10% of the, of the sales. So that was pretty exciting. My name's Paula Hainer, and this is Paula Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get me confusing. Both our husbands are named Mike. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, when I was probably 15, 16, her, my, or Mike and them, sister and I, did the coffee car for every run. We worked in there and made donuts and ate a lot of the donuts and, and then ran up and down the thing. And, and uh, really cool to watch so many people sign the guest book. It was amazing how many people from different places actually came out and rode the steam train. It was always really, really cool. But we had a lot of fun, too, in between. And I loved it, every minute of it. Always a good time. My husband used to soak the tracks. Oh yeah. Yeah. My brother-in-law Russell. Well, Philip was the fireman. Fireman. And Russell. What Russell? Russell? I did switching and braking. Switching, switching and braking. And narrow quarters. Yeah. Christmas. 
for to sell at the uh, in the coffee car. And people were so enthralled with them, they were not just buying them one at a time, they were buying them by the dozen. And so they called us and said, make more cookies. So we were busily making cookies, stopping the train, they're at every train stop, and delivering ginger boys to the coffee car for the, the crew that, or the passengers that year. So. Just enjoy helping out with the, the steam engine and work with some of the staff and learn as much as I can. And just, um, been out here 12 years now and just enjoy every minute of it when I have a chance to work on it. Coming up to Lake Whatcom probably when I was a baby and then I know I was an elf at least one Christmas and then after that I started working with Mrs. Colt and Marjorie in the um, coffee shop car and I did that all through even up into college, I think, so it was always a lot of fun and kind of a Christmas tradition to come here with my dad and my grandpa, so it was a lot of fun. Well, I've been out here for about 10 years, I guess. I came out as a, to ride the train and got kind of interested and asked Frank if he needed a volunteer, and he said, sure. And <laughs> that was in July of that summer, about 10 years ago, and he had me out digging ties just on the other side of the tunnel and it was hot and I told him I can't do this so then he decided to put me on the on the train as a conductor